Hi guys, Magtwin here. A couple of you have asked me to do a tutorial on the animal breeding system that I showed in my uh, project where I had the boars. So I'm going to start that. And uh, the only thing I've done so far was created a new third person project uh, in Unreal. I'm using version 427. And uh, I have added to the project that free animal variety pack that you get uh, in Marketplace. And in this series we're going to use the pig for that. But the first thing we need to do is make our uh, widget. And you will need to download a heart with an alpha background and a thought cloud texture with an alpha background. Now I can do a tutorial on showing you how to make these in uh, Microsoft Paint. So let me know if you need something like that or if you're comfortable just finding something off the internet. Um, just let me know if you need it. I'll do a quick tutorial on making these. But these are the ones that I'm using. Um, after that, go ahead and do the uh, user widget. So what we're going to do is go to user interface create a widget blueprint and I'm going to call mine WDG mating. Okay. I'm going to open that up and put it up here and change the canvas, uh, change the uh, viewing from fill screen to desired. Okay and then add an image and I'm going to change the name of this to cloud image or cloud IMG okay and it doesn't need to be a variable all right And then over here in the right hand side under the brush you need to choose your cloud texture. And I thought, found mine here. There's a thought cloud. Okay, I add that to it. Then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to anchor it to the center of the canvas panel. Then I am going to set its position X and Y, both of them, to minus 64. Minus 64. Okay. Then I'm going to set the size to 128 and 128. Okay. There we go. I'll compile and save just for the heck of it. Alright, so after we have that, we need to add our heart images. So add another image to the canvas panel. And select the image, then go over on the right hand side and under brush and choose your heart image that you're using. There's mine. Okay, I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read my notes. <laughs> Okay, we also have to anchor this to the center as well. So let's anchor that to the center. And then uh, let's go over here and rename the uh, image to Heart 1. Heart 1. Okay. And after we do that, let's go over here and set the position to X to minus 32. And then set Y position to 4. And then go down to the size and set the size both on X and Y to 15. 15 and 15. Okay, that places it right there. That's good. Okay, now we add another image to the canvas panel. Call this Heart 2. Heart 2 and go down to the brush bring your heart in again okay 
set position x to minus 4. Well, first let's anchor it to the center. Don't forget that. Set position x to minus 4. And set position y to minus 8. And then set the size on x and y to 20. Okay, we got that. Now, add another image to the canvas panel. Change that to heart 3. Just like that. Let's anchor it to the center. Okay. Let's set its position x to minus 20. And position y to minus 28. Okay. Oh, I guess we better go down and set the heart image. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not going to see what we're doing. Okay, we got the heart image in there. Let's go back up to the top and set the size to 15 on the X and 15 on the Y. There we go. All right, and our, add our last heart image. So add an image to the canvas panel. Let's rename it heart 4. Okay. Anchor to the center. Bring in your heart image. And go back up to the top and set position X to 16. And position Y to minus 36. Just like that. And then set the size to 2020. Okay got that we'll compile and save okay now with uh, heart one selected let's go down to animation and let's call this mating anim m-a-t-i-n-g a-n-i-m mating anim all right with that selected and with your heart one still selected we're going to add a track select heart one and go over to this plus sign on the track and set it to render opacity. And then select heart 2, add a track, select heart 2 in the track, go here and select render opacity. And do the same for 3 and 4. So add a track for heart 3 and render opacity, select heart 4, Add a track for heart 4. Click on the plus. Render opacity. Okay. Now, I might have to refer to my other project. I don't think so. Um, I didn't mark down how long I had it set for. I think it was set for 4 minutes. But anyway, uh, we want heart one to be visible so we'll do that we want heart two to not be visible okay set these tracks to zero because they're going to be hidden now i noticed that we did heart one heart two heart three heart four all right, so heart two, let's go to, I think I had it set to two minutes. Let me check. Yeah, I had that set to uh, four seconds. So let me bring this out to four. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, mark these the way they are okay now we'll go back to the beginning part where we only have the one okay let's go to the one minute mark and we'll set heart one to zero and heart two to one. Okay. 
and then leave uh, heart 3 and heart 4 set to 0. Just click this little circle to make those to keyframe that. And then let's go to the 2 mark and make sure these are set to 0, heart 1 and heart 2 to 0. Then heart 3, we want to set it to 1 and leave heart 4 at 0 and key it. So we have, make sure you have keyframes on all of those. Now let's go to part 3. Set this to 0. Make sure there is 0. I don't know why they changed to 0.5 and all that, but we need to set them to 0 and we'll set heart 4 to 1. Okay. Oh, we're missing a track here this one here. Okay. Make sure you have all four dots. Let's go to the fourth one and that's where I'm gonna go ahead and set everybody to zero. I think that's what I did. Yeah. Alright. So, And on this thing where it says no looping down here, click that and it'll loop it. And let's go ahead and hit play. There we go. All right. So that's our mating widget. And now let's go to the graph. And let's delete all three of these nodes here. We'll bring in our mating anim. And we'll say play animation. right here and the target is going to be oh wait we already have our mating animation okay and let's uh, right click and create a custom event oh if I spell it right it might come up huh custom event okay add custom event we'll call this play heart anim and we'll connect that to our play animation. All right, so we're ready on that. And uh, I see these heart one, two, three, four coming up, and they don't really need to. They're coming up because we had them. We have them marked as variable. I guess Unreal does that from the get-go, and we don't need those. Not really necessary, but I don't like seeing them there if I don't need them. There. See, we go to the graph and they're gone. So that's it for that. All right, we have our widget mating uh, done. So I'm going to go ahead and end this. Uh, I'm going to make these short. Uh, some of them might be longer because it takes a long time to set up. You've got the female pig, you've got the male pig, and then you got the baby pig. So those might be longer but I'll go ahead and end this one here and I will catch you on the next video thanks a lot for watching bye bye